So many precious memories, Ellen. Yes. Fresh mems, if you will. Yes. What? What have? It's a thing. It's of course it's a thing. It's on a T-shirt. Yeah. Which hey, if you wanna, Goodness, if you wanna, yeah. no, we can't be trying to flog T-shirts <laughs> before we've even started the video. What have you learned this year, Ellen? What have you learned? Um, I've learned For example. That's what I thought. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. But as is as is tradition, here are some of our favourite moments from 2019 on the channel. Check them out. Here they come. The Fresh Mems. I'm a big fan of Cafe KK. <laughs> Sounds like a broken modem. Luke, are you alright? <laughs> <laughs> this is lovely. No, listen, listen to listen to that bit. It sounds it makes me think of uh, Ratatouille being in a French cafe. It's like <laughs> <laughs> Luke.exe has stopped working. <laughs> I genuinely love this. I also quite like KK Cruising. <laughs> no, the start. That's it. I've listened to so much KK Slider music. I no longer hear how weird and broken modem like his voice is. It just sounds like singing to me. <laughs> But the, my favourite piece is the delightful, delightful KK Samba. Let's hear a little now. The thing that I love about it is that it's just scrumptious. <laughs> James has got his head in his hands. Look, let's, let me explain. No, it's good. I'll tell you why it's good. <laughs> the music of KK Slider should be taught in music academies because with only incomprehensible dog noises and woofing and whistling, and a terrible MIDI guitar, the composers of Animal Crossing have managed to incorporate the diaspora of, <laughs> of all of the music of the world. There's samba, there's there's jazz, there's even like a dirge, there's um there are oh, there's a brilliant uh, like bubblegum pop one. <laughs> I genuinely think it's amazing how they've managed to make the KK Slider songs sound like all these different genres and all of these different styles. With with only like that terrible like MIDI guitar and the and the. Oh my god, and, and there's even a key change in KK Samba. Listen to it. <laughs> I love this. The other thing that I really love about it is just the little grunting noises yeah, that KK like... Slider gets. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've lost the room, but I know that at, I know that at home you're agreeing with me. I didn't expect to lose the room this hard. I thought this would win some hearts and minds. I was wrong. Crazy Tracy. <laughs> if there I've was a, a voice before, this one's better. This is the, yeah, <laughs> the overwrite okay. previous voice. I've got a little secret for sale that'll pump you up. Oh, Tracy. Oh, Just be a fine me, thing. Will you give me 28 rupees for my secret? Tracy, right. we would give you so Come much Come here and more. I'll rub it on you. There, I've applied my own secret to medicine even. I can't tell. Why oh, are flustered. there so many It will take effect. <laughs> you lose all heart. 
drop it by again, big guy. Is that the boss? Oh my goodness. That's it. Pull its nose off. Oh, oh no! Oh no, I oh. hate it! I hate it! Oh, no. it's horrible eyes and mouth and whole deal. The walrus, walrus wants me to go. go to That's you, our chat um, up line. Well, yeah, how did you right, communicate that to her? So she, so she sort of, <laughs> she spills her guts about her hopes yeah. and dreams, and Bob um, turns and says, "The walrus wants you no, to no, go no, to him." No, 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 he mined it. He mined it because he, he mined can't it. talk. So he just like, and then like mimed whiskers right, and yeah. like tusks. Put like breadsticks in his gums. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mimed a big tub of bread. Right. Mimed a big, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Bob. She's not an item, Bob. What the hell is happening? Absolutely. <laughs> Unforgivable. Incredible what? scenes here in Link's Awakening. <laughs> what is happening? What? You got married. Is this your is big this your chance? Big, yeah, what the hell does that mean? There's Look a little at, heart down in there. In the deep water. In the deep water. Go for it, John. Can you can you go down there? Shall I show you what happens? Oh! Ah! No, this is the dream dream shrine. Oh, right. One of those bunnies. Oh, bunnies oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet you'll find something nice inside. Oh. Let's go in, let's go in. The best What's place. More bunnies. Actually, the best thing about <gasps> this. Uh, Weird. John, <laughs> no, it's nice. John, leave this room. <laughs> what do you think this is called, it's like everybody? It's a French horn type thing. Yeah. What do you think it might be called? Sea horn? Sea horn of conch, conch horn. horn. It's a conch horn. Of course. <laughs> Pass the conch. Looks a bit biological. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bob, can I try this? <laughs> All right, yeah. Mary. Don't screw it up because it's, it's expensive. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my, no! Uh, Mary's gone rogue! What the hell? Why does he even build the machine to go over to his desk? Oh my god, he's going to die! The pressure on his head must be immense! <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, he's, he's fuming! He's literally he's fuming! He's just slumped to the ground! <laughs> You're good. You're a pro, aren't you? Oh, trendy gamester. Oh. What have they look done? Look at Link's little shocked face! <laughs> <laughs> <gasps>'ll the L man grab it we're in the end game now Walking over it's done a terrible job of keeping peach poor I know look yeah it's true I see go mash him kill that go oh. kill that oh. Peach! Okay. yes yes <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, peach yes that's an incredible oh. upset <laughs> peach is hulking out <laughs> It's time to announce the oh, totally arbitrary stars. Yeah, yeah. Here we All go. Right, it's time for the arbitrary prize giving. <laughs> I can't wait to see either. Who could it could be anyone? Yes, we right. know. <laughs> Alright, let's hand out some arbitrary prizes. Oh, oh yeah. here it is. Yeah. Richly deserved. The star for most friends goes to Ellen. Yeah, you see, you see, I had to counteract it. High school never ends, folks. <laughs> yeah, now I have the same amount of stars as everyone else. <laughs> the unlucky bonus. Who is that? Oh, I don't know. Interesting, uh, interesting. Who had the most bad luck? I landed on one. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Outrageous. Oh. This oh. goddamn game. <laughs> Esports level play here. Everyone, you're well, champion. 
that nail to you. Or me. Something I don't know. A very merry and buffy. Yep, I don't know. To me. Alright, and the Ask Ellen quick by Disney questions. Alright. Ellen, what is, who is Walt Disney? As a man. Next. Correct. What? Come on, come on, come on. Quick Where time. are the pirates of? The Caribbean. Yes, Correct. Yes. Okay, what is the Disneyland in Florida called? Walt Disney World. Yes, correct. Keep she's going, she's going. a she's a genius. Who are we here to beat? Those drags. Those. Look at them. Yeah. <laughs> wow, Jane. First person to make that gesture in this park. Congratulations. Okay, well that's nice. Yeah, that's nice for Miss. That's nice for the Mad Hatter's tea party. Yeah. Keep it light, kids. Well done. How ready to be nauseated are you? Uh, <laughs> well, I'm always ready to be nauseated, Good. Mike. It's part of the job description. Yeah, I'm going to turn this place into a vomitorium. Oh, here we go. Yeah, let's go! Let's go! Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Twist him, twist him, Mike! <laughs> twist! <laughs> Mike, if you're going to be sick, I'm going to... No, 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 no. <laughs> Mike, if you're going to vomit, I'm going to need you to time it very carefully. Okay. okay. See if I can hit those guys. Yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Right now. No, go, go. <laughs> Drop, quickly, go. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> 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 Mike, well, he's good. Handles like it's on a rail. Oh, yeah, this is the good stuff. Not very lively, very composed. Uh, bike quality's good. Not a lot of uh, scuffle shakes, so the chassis must be extremely rigid. Lovely open top experience. You can really hear that engine note. It's that wonderful four stroke rumble. Sounds like we've got a sewing machine behind us. Yeah, this is where you really sort the men from the boys. See if we can kick it into a little drift. Oh my god, I'm just taking our hands off the wheel! Oh no! Oh my god! Outrageous! <laughs> I think I'm unconscious or something. <laughs> uh, oh, um, all right. Flashes of vision. Oh, it's a droid. Oh, it's got... It's going to inject that into my eyeball, isn't it? It's got a little needle on it, on a prong. You're awake. Good. My name is Admiral Carius. My name is Admiral Carius. Darth Vader, Lord of this monolith. He's got a cool robot arm. a task at which you will undoubtedly fail. I'm going to meet Darth Vader. I'm going to meet Darth Vader. You are not the first kid. Oh, okay, well this looks ominous. I just saw this interrogation set up here. Oh, oh cheese and crackers, it's him. <laughs> uh, all right, I should accept a posture of humbled reverence, shouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> My who's, lord. Who's, who's taller, you or Darth? Uh, Darth is programmed to always be a few inches taller, I think. I have brought you here. You are required to perform one simple task. I have to perform one simple task. Do Good. the Macarena. Do. And I will spare <laughs> your life. Oh, I've got to do a puzzle. Oh, Vader, I'm... He says if I do this puzzle, he'll spare your my life. But he doesn't know that I'm terrible at puzzles, so I'll definitely die. Oh, it's emitting some kind of gas. Maybe if I lick it? <laughs> Uh, okay. All right, all right. What am I doing here? Do I press this button? Oh, I pressed it. It worked. Good. Oh, many, many small gases came out. Oh, oh no, there's a series of buttons. Maybe I have to press them in the right order. Is that right? Oh, it's working. 
Vader, I'm surprised you couldn't figure this out. It doesn't seem that complicated. Oh! Ooh, a crystal came out. And now I plunge it into your heart! <laughs> <laughs> oh! No, he didn't like that. This is the one I've been searching for. <gasps> I'm special. I'm a special Star Wars hero. <laughs> Darth Vader said he's been searching for me in particular. You've immediately got Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah. Darth Vader's so great. <laughs> Once you get to know him like I do. Bye, Darth. Hurry back. First off, the designs of the Pokemon, the, yeah. the models, They've done are a great very job. true to the original. Like they're, they're a little bit realistic, but they've done a nice kind of crossover of real world and also still looks like the cute little thing from the games and the anime. Yeah, because in the anime and, and in the games, dare I say, the Pokemon, Pokemon all sort of look like they're made of a kind of plasticky vinyl, sort of <laughs> yeah. like, almost like a sort of smooth rubber. Yeah. Like, I always imagine Pikachu feeling a bit like a wetsuit. You know, do you know what I mean? No, I imagine Jigglypuff being like a balloon, more like a ee. Oh yeah, oh, oh. <laughs> So when Pikachu is trying to communicate, it can only go Pika Pika, and I was like, Pika. that sounds so accurate. Pika Pika! And familiar, mm. and I kept an eye on the credits, and indeed, the voice of Pikachu as an, a, a, a not understood Pokemon mm -hmm. is indeed uh, Ikue Atani, yes. who is the voice of Pikachu in the anime, which I really appreciate. Yeah. yeah. Pika. <laughs> I like it when he's all sad. <laughs> <laughs> Pika. <laughs> okay. There was no need, <laughs> no need to hire, hire <laughs> Ikue Atani at all. You could, Pokemon Company, you could have just, we can send you the wow if you want of, of that. If you, for the sequel, if you want to save some money. I mean, not loads of money, we're not cheap. We're not cheap. I just Nintendo. watched a lot of the anime when I was a kid. Uko. Uko. Uko He's with his all that side. Yeah, no, I know what you were going for. It just sounded very unwell. <laughs> He was unwell in most of the episodes. Ash is a terrible Pokemon trainer. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. It's like, go on, Pikachu, fight this Pokemon. Well, Ash, I don't really have a type advantage against <laughs> I said fight it! <laughs> oh, you died. The solution is for you to train more, Pikachu. It's like, just get one of your other Pokemon. No! Pikachu has to do it. Pikachu will train until you can beat this rock type Pokemon. <laughs> Exhausted, muscly Pikachu. <laughs> Burden on the Ritz. Yeah, Here we go. And you don't know where to go to. Why don't you go where fashion sits? Burden on the Ritz. <laughs> Mary, word glass on Twitter, says, did Luke build a lightsaber yet? No. No. But if I did, it would be blue. There you go. Here's my lightsaber. Uh, my heart and my, my head. And my, my hands and my... And my head. It's not as good <laughs> as my talking. Right? <laughs> it's not as good as my actual lightsaber. It's not as good, no. I was gonna. I was going for a sort Can of like peacekeeping angle there, you know. My words of reason are my lightsaber. This is mine. Oh no. No, no. no. Don't poke me is with it. it. Ooh. Yeah. It's, it's like if it, it thinks it's hit something, so. It's pretty important that the lightsaber is in every live stream we do. Yeah. Oh yeah, look, it's all yeah, Mike, your lightsaber's bendy, look. It seemed like it was oh, good, yeah. but it seemed like it was good, but look, it's all bendy. <laughs> Can I bend it? Yeah. Just go back and forth. I was, I was making yourself. it. So yourself. <laughs> Hang on. Well, thanks for coming. Today. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. Let's do some Let's quick fire, quick questions. fire questions. Quick yes, fire. before we have to run off. Okay. Uh, Corey Nydam says, "Do you want it? That's quite loud. Do you want to turn that off? <laughs> give it to, give it to me. Give it to me. You Mike, can have it can you... later once you've done your live stream." <laughs> You can have pudding once you finish your vegetables. What is this going to be like when we do this live stream tomorrow night? I don't know. Are we just going to be on the floor rolling around? <laughs> yeah, just gently much. tumbling. Well, we're not winning. No. How am I still in this a fight? Word for it. Oh, they're trying to. They're trying to mm. hit this hobbit. Is he alive? No. But that one's dead. Someone's one of these hobbits Someone's is alive. alive. There is friendly fire. Yeah, but one of them will 
still be alive he's if they kill the other one. He's got his scythe wedged under the other guy's oh, arm. Oh, my hobbits! That's tiny. my unit. Why is he oh, tiny? Why is he so small? Why did he become <laughs> tiny? They can't hit him because he's <laughs> the size of an ant. Yes, yes hobbit. hobbit. Yes, he's yes, jumping around. Hobbit. That's not a power that hobbits oh, have. Oh, what? They... Did they tread on him? Okay, I have no idea what happened there. Hit the hobbits. Get in the wheels. They're Don't not going to be able to hit them. They're too small. No, the hobbits, hobbits are getting oh, in no. the. Oh, wow. wow. A one hobbit got absolutely nailed, destroyed. But there's clearly there's a hobbit still alive. Is there? Oh, yeah, there, oh, there, there he is. Oh, the oh. ill-deserved Ill oh. confidence of a hobbit. <laughs> he's, I think he's, he's alive. No, he's no. Who's but I haven't then? won yet. So what are they firing some, at? So, well, yeah, something's alive. I think one of the hobbits got crushed under a mammoth. Some, is yet to die. Something's moving. Something's alive. Brain death hasn't occurred yet. <laughs> one of the hobbits. We need to find which one. Are they firing at? They're firing at this guy. He. Is he still alive? Hit him then. in his face and see if he's got Zoom in on his eyes. face. Hit it. Hit him. Is he okay? Oh, oh, he's he's okay. okay! He's, he's okay! Like, you he's you crafty possum. hobbit! <laughs> <laughs> you crafty he's hobbit! He's in a vegetative state. <laughs> Alright, okay. Alright, hobbit, you just need to play it cool. <laughs> you just need to be chill, and maybe they won't no, notice. Get bored. This seems cruel. Oh no! No, oh, they oh, can't, they, they they can't, can't hit you! Oh my god, hit the hobbit! What is wrong with you all? Kill that hobbit right I think now! We've reached an impasse. Oh my god, he's like Neo of hobbits. <laughs> Someone just walk over and stamp on him a bit. Can you take Come direct on. control of him, Luke? They're re no, but I can no. take direct control of a ballista. Maybe I can sort of. Come on! <laughs> They're gonna run out of ballistas. Oh my god! Alberto T says, after a stressful week, it's great to see you slash hear you guys. I can't be stressed enough how great you all are. Oh, thanks, thank Alberto. you. That's really kind. Uh, Ed I can't believe Javarit this. says, if you have a couple of thousand in budget, put down a ballista with two to three cheerleaders around it for more power than one man should have. Oh, well, look, cheerleaders like for buffing? Yeah. They yeah. Produce, produce the, buffs. the last thing I want to do now is reward my ballista team. Who can't even angle their. Just walk over Pop, and punt him in the just head. Just prop a rock under the back wheel or something. Oh my god! Right. Just I'm, walk over. Take direct control and, and roll kicking. over him with the wheels. Yeah. Let's see if the, let's see what. Drive. I can, right. Drive. Yeah. Drive over his right. head. Drive. We're gonna run over a hobbit. <laughs> roll the wheel over his I'm head. Not, I'm not proud of it. I'm not proud of this. <laughs> that hobbit springs Look up what and you kills made me. me. Do. <laughs> yeah, that was his ploy all along. Yeah. All right. I'll try and fire at close range. He's gonna call, commandeer your ballista. Oh my god! What? A ballista hit me! Friendly fire! <laughs> I got hit by Guys. my own bus. The hobbit's up! The hobbit's oh up. no! <laughs> this is it! This is his gambit! The fight back! The, the fight back begins now! <laughs> Kill it quick! Oh. No! Yeah! <laughs> wow. Oh my god. History will remember you, hobbit. <laughs>One of the special things about D&D that makes it really fun for people to play is that you get lots of options with magic, which is great, but it also means I've got lots of things to bear in mind when I want something to go smoothly and not get completely like sent off on some random other path. And I think there's no better example of this in practice than that time they used a whale to ram a ship. Obviously, Meryl Wen can communicate with animals and she can sort of send out this uh, this message and, and become friends with them. The call that you put out into the water is answered by um, like a few Humboldt squid, and they're like really nasty. They're really yeah. horrible. They're little weird sort of yeah. sucking tentacle beaks. Uh, let's say a couple of sharks. There's you can sense that the whale you tried to reach out to is like like I get it, but it's, <laughs> it's a bit shallow. So it's sort of just more like you know where the, the sandbank suddenly oh, yeah, drops yeah, off. Yeah. So it's kind of like the whale's cheerleading. <laughs> Yeah. I mentioned the whale as sort of being out there but not being near enough to the shore to be able to help because I thought it was funny and that was my downfall because it meant they had a whale they could later weaponize. Yeah. And I'll be like, don't hurt yourself, but go nudge it, give him a nudge. Go oh, give him a hard nudge. nudge the boat. And at that point, again, I couldn't exactly say no and put the whale back in the jar. Like it was it was out of the lamp, there was nothing I could do except let them use it. Suddenly you see, if you're watching the ship, uh, the sails kind of judder, and in fact the whole ship kind of rocks, and you see the people on the top deck struggle to keep their feet um, as the whale just kind of like beneath the waterline just smashes <laughs> into the boat. It led to the, to be fair, the, the question I've never had to ask myself before, which is how much damage does a whale do? As much as it wants. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it was a trying day at the office. If there was one thing I would say to aspiring DMs who want to neutralise this possibility, 
It's not to learn all the spells because it will just drive you bonkers and you'll end up hating the game and you won't want to run it. Just get to know your players and what they're like. So if, for example, there's a reason I don't leave red explosive barrels littered all over Geth, because these people work in video games all the time, of course they're going to put them to use. So just try and give them options that they will naturally gravitate towards as and when you want them to use those options and just be wary of throwing things in that are like wide open for abuse because you think it's good flavour text <laughs> as otherwise you're just going to be in for a world of hurt. I will show Ellen uh, a spider that you have suggested and she will rank it on the fearometer. Can we start the fearometer please? Now some of you uh, were distressed last time that uh, the method that we were d using was not very scientific, so that's why this time... Huh? The lab coat. <laughs> well, Ellen, are you ready to closely examine Armogoma? Yeah! Here we go. Oh, this one they dropped down, don't they? Or just crawls on the ceiling and then didn't like it. <laughs> yep, yeah, no, no! No. We haven't even got no. to the eye oh. on its back. The eye on its back is not the problem. It's the many eyes at the front of its face. Sure. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, oh it moved. Oh. So what's the what's? <laughs> tell me what. Tell me what's happening now, Ellen. Is it the? Is it the? No. No. I'll just write that down. Subject commented. <laughs> it's all like uh, and no. <laughs> Perfect pitch, dog. If you want to look it up, so it's um, bad. I mean, nothing to do with the hours of practice you made us do, Corazon. Well, I, this is the first time I've seen you today, Marilyn. Who is? So I've not tired. finished this. Oh, damn it, Harmony Birds! Ah, wrong. Are you struggling? No. Are you sure? No. <laughs> not my first rodeo. You know, you got it. You gotta roll with the punches a little bit. Okay, so I'm going, I'm putting this on a very high angle. Because Why? Mike is not going to actually be playing it, but we need to see some sticks moving. So basically this is going to hide. So I guess the idea is that if the camera is there. Back here? He'll be going like that. Does that look at all like... Are you trying to say that Mike isn't really playing the drums? No, 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 I just... Obviously he really plays the drums. I just need to account for how hard he will be yeah. rocking. Does that actually look okay? Yeah, it looks good. Perfect. Can't hear it though if you turn it on. <laughs> well, it's hard to get power out here. Yeah. None of these symbols are plugged in yet. It has gone dark, because uh, just filming overruns sometimes. And it looks really cool at the moment. I think we're gonna get an actually quite good shot. With filmmaking, um, it, it's what comes out on the day. Isn't that right, John? It's what comes out on the day. Hello. That kind of regulates, they get, yeah. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm quite tired, Ellen. I know, you've been working very hard, John. We had a... I fell over for a small minute there. It's okay, it's okay. So those were some of the Presh Mems that we formed in 2019. So many. so many of them. So many. Hashtag Presh Mems. Yeah, we've had a lovely time and we hope to have an even lovelier time in 2020. If there are any more uh, Oxtra 2019 Presh Mems that you think we omitted, then drop them in the comments. Let's make this a big old nostalgia fest in the chat, in the comments for the, for the, for the year. Thanks for watching, folks. We can't wait to hang out with you more in 2020. It's going to be great.